Hi, I'm Silvio. A train always adds more magic to any Christmas village. But it is not simple to choose the correct solution, especially if you are new to this amazing realm or if you want to be original. So I will try to clarify the most important points as the topic is huge. But let me first thank Farida for suggesting this tutorial in one of her comments around a month ago. I am always listening to everyone and if I am capable of it, I will always try to answer or provide help. Hi guys, uh, welcome to this new tutorial about trains and train set. I can't deny that right now I'm simply stressed. This because it's not just a matter of knowing about uh, buildings, about the light buildings and the figurines. It's also a matter of knowing something about train scale modeling. And the train scale modeling is simply 20 to 30 times more extended. The topic is 20 to 30 times more extended than Christmas Village topic. And sincerely, I don't have 30 or 40 hours at my disposal to explain everything about the train scale modeling. And also, I don't want to push you to suicide listening to me for 30 to 40 hours. So I will try to focus on the main points of uh, uh, train scale modeling because I need to and try to clarify them and let you know that you have multiple solution, multiple choice uh, at your disposal to uh, add a train to your Christmas village. So let's start. Um, Lemax as its proper train set and I will try to put it around somewhere here around this video mm, right now. And this trade train set is well suited for your Christmas village. The buildings and the trains have similar uh, scale, similar gauge or gauge. I don't know how to pronounce it sincerely. And uh, it is well suited, but the tracks uh, f from the set from Lemax are counted. You have a certain amount of curves and a certain amount of straight tracks. And that's all. Your uh, tracks setup, your tracks layout will be fixed by it. Only if you buy another set from Lemax, you'll be able to uh, expand, extend your uh, tracks layout. And also the train set from Lemax has a limited amount of uh, wagons, of coaches. Obviously, the locomotive and some coaches and some passenger coaches or wagons or cars, uh, you can name it as you want, and some um, freight cars, frame coaches, and that's all. And obviously, it is battery operated. I will go into details in just one moment. It is just uh, uh, an introduction. Sorry for that. Uh, Department 56, the same uh, as a train set for uh, building, uh, for adding to a Christmas village, uh, and so so on. But if you want to be original, because, okay, my Christmas village have a train set, but it's exactly the same train set as many, 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 many other people's as. You can go, obviously, with uh, some aftermarket or some um, other brand uh, train uh, set. Let me introduce this one this train set here. It is a very cheap train set 
and yes it is a suite for a uh, Christmas village the train set come with a set of uh, straight uh, tracks there and some curved tracks here simply all is plastic nothing can be um, attached to, to the uh, ground to the base of your Christmas uh, village everything is plastic everything is essentially plastic let me just remove everything is just simply uh, plastic does it works yes it works with some difficulties but let me just show you and please forgive for the noise let me just switch it on okay i will try it works obviously it has even some sounds and i need to be louder right now because the train makes some awful noises and you will have to uh, have it uh, going this uh, set or maybe just simple in a circle for all the time you want it is a toy obviously but it can add a train but this way you can have a train set added to your uh, christmas village i will have some difficulties right now because i need to do this and you will always need to do this in order to stop your uh, Christmas village train set if you decide to go with this solution. Why? <laughs> Simply because you haven't another mean of controlling it. So you have seen that this is a train set. Uh, a locomotive, a tender, some freight cars, some tank cars and the passenger car very useful very well done uh, very uh, it is also in the same type of time in the same era of uh, the caddington uh, lemax collection victorian era uh, victorian era and this is a train a vapor train a steam train a with a steam locomotive and this is uh, well suited for any Christmas village um, set in that time Dickens Village, um, Caddington from Lemax uh, and uh, Department 56 even if Department 56 is also after that Victorian era but here we go so let me do something that i ate right now so dismantling everything let me just bring it to you this is simply all plastic you can see that this is simply all plastic the uh, wheels the wheels will not be able to turn right and left everything is fixed uh, simply the hook the coupling system here will be able to uh, rotate and accommodate the trucks and the coaches and the wagons when uh, the train is in uh, is curving so the system a simple plastic hook there and on the other side you will have a simple uh, a, a simple hole in some plastic a simple uh, system to coupling uh, each uh, cars with another obviously you can put the, the um, passenger coach just after the tender here just remember that the tender need to be always connected to the locomotive because in this case you have the coal needed to uh, to uh, provide some uh, burning uh, material for the uh, for the, um, the locomotive itself and to produce uh, produce steam that will engage the movement of the wheels simple uh, basic uh, steam um, um, propulsion there but you can place uh, the coach here or there eliminate maybe the tank if you don't want it and everything is plastic uh, rolling on some plastic uh, rails and you can see that the rails can be detached very easily uh, so let me just remove some more of those uh, wagons there <coughs> uh, let me put them together 
here you go, the tender is detached also, and the locomotive. Obviously, you have an on-off switch right there, off and on. You have just seen how difficult it is to stop the train when you have to stop it, and it is operated right here with four AA uh, 1.5 volts batteries. Obviously, these four batteries <laughs> will surely not be uh, enough for providing a source of uh, power to the um, locomotive for the entire season you will need to face. So from time to time you need to unscrew this screw here, open it right there and change the four batteries inside. How this can work? You simply have a plastic or rubber belt here around this wheel that will provide friction in contact with the mm, uh, tracks, the plastic tracks there, and will simple, simple um, uh, make the locomotive uh, pulling every cars on the uh, on the track. It is noisy, it is always at the same speed, but you also have on the market uh, uh, train sets like this one that uh, will simply uh, move around, that will simply roll on the tracks without any sounds. And also the other wheels have some sort of uh, gears around the uh, wheels there that will make that will provide some less friction but always a friction on the uh, tracks there on the tracks there okay so this is one of the main solution you have and those sets here are also a little dangerous if you have some um, little child around because it is <laughs> easily took off and you can have your kids having this hook in their mouth very very quickly and uh, causing them to choke so be careful if you want to go with this uh, solution okay always think about <laughs> your future your legacy so this train set let me just put the locomotive in front of, in between the uh, in between the station, the train station. This is the train station I always use in my Christmas village, and the uh, the nun there. <laughs> I will always use her for uh, scaling or for comparing everything together. The locomotive is simply huge the scale of this train set unknown so when you buy a train set like this one the scale the gouge is simply unknown you go with what uh, with what you get so in this case the locomotive is almost higher and longer than the uh, train station you can see that it is uh, uh, exaggerated big uh, if you compare the uh, locomotive to the train station obviously as i told you many many times each building this is this is uh, the same for lemax or department 56 or dickens village uh, figurines are not in scale with the buildings and this is an assumption this is a default um, assumption this is because uh, of the uh, aspect ratio you need to have if you want to film them or to uh, have them uh, on pictures. Simply just uh, look, take a look to the nun there. If I place, sorry, if I place the station here, that the nun is higher. Don't look uh, to those uh, figures there because they are absolutely not in scale with 
all the other figurines you will put on your Christmas village. This is the right scale of every figurines you put on your Christmas village. And every, every, every figurines is always bigger than any doors or any entrance of any uh, building. And this is a common fact, but it is correct like this. But if you compare the building itself with the locomotive, it is exaggerated. Uh, figurines are something apart. You need always to compare other things, buildings to, uh, to cars, buildings uh, to uh, chariots, buildings to trains, uh, buildings to uh, horses and so on. Figurines are apart and this is obviously gigantic in comparison if you compare it with the train station obviously it is well suited for the figurines it is the right scale for the figurines to be inside of the train but it's not well suited for the building itself too huge of course you can decide to go with this solution it is the cheapest solution on the market but think about uh, dimension think about the point of view you will get using those kind of a uh, train set maybe if you are lucky you will find on the market uh, the right um, on the market uh, and with the market i'm saying EB, ebay amazon and so on on any marketplace on any online marketplace maybe you will find the correct uh, scale the correct dimension that will be suited for your Christmas village but those cars too are bigger than any building are not are absolutely not in scale but this is the cheaper solution and you have seen how it is coupled here will this train be able to go up a mountain up a hill yes I think because I don't have any problems at all. The problem is that it has always the same speed and the same speed is not always uh, suitable for a uh, curved section of the tracks, especially if they are climbing up uh, some uh, hills or some mountain. Let me just remove for now uh, those uh, coaches those wagons those cars you can name it as you want from the scene let me just have simply the locomotive uh, there and let me just end by uh, the, end the, 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 the topic about this kind of train set by showing you how the tracks are connected the ones be together there okay it's simply a matter of uh, pushing and pulling and clicking there and that's all no way of uh, uh, clipping them down to the base of your uh, Christmas village and this is always the same setup or circle or a novel for your um, for this kind of train set will you be able to expand it Yes, you need to buy three, four, five, six more train sets, but you simply don't have uh, the tracks. You will have to buy the train set with the locomotive and all the coaches, the cars, for, be able, for being able to use it simply in the tracks. So there aren't uh, single pieces of them, single tracks or single coaches or single cars to be added to this kind of train set. Okay, I think I've said everything about aftermarket. Uh, by aftermarket, I'm saying that this is not from Lemax or Department 55, 56 or uh, Dickens Village uh, collections. But you can have a train of your choice if you want it. Train sets or train or tracks from scale modeling trains this is how to add trains correctly okay in my honest opinion of course you may find 
on, uh, around other people telling you otherwise for a Christmas village. Why? First, you have many, 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 many choices on the market. And if you talk about train scale modeling, scales and gouges or gouges if you want are precisely done. You can find every scale you want, every scale you need to for your Christmas village. Scale as you have just seen is very important. Uh, let me just uh, uh, tell you another thing. How the train it is operated. In this case you had four AA 1.5 volts batteries in this case and with all the cases it involves a train scale modeling solution you will have uh, the power directly connected to the tracks and the train will be powered by the volt by the tension provided uh, by the tracks themselves the tracks here you have the same setup a novel I have made a novel setup here for comparing the two of them you have different kinds of tracks you may have curved tracks different types curved tracks uh, R1 types R means radius type 1 radius type 2 and you can see that they have they have different radius from the center here of the curve simply because uh, uh, you can use mm, those kind of tracks in different ways and not all the coaches not all the cars will be able to roll on these uh, uh, narrow um, radius uh, tracks they will need at least these uh, wider radius um, tracks I will get to that in just some minutes you will also have uh, some straight tracks obviously different sizes different lengths Th those are uh, fixed tracks they can't bend uh, you have seen me using uh, during the um, main tutorial series some bending tracks that are simply used to make uh, a different type of uh, radius curving sections or different length but they need to be cut at some time so uh, I and th th those aren't standard um, for uh, making some uh, track layouts so I've not inserted in this uh, tutorial in this generic tutorial how the tension is bring it to the uh, tracks normally you will see this kind of uh, uh, of coupling there with uh, this piece there that is removable of course insert inserted uh, beneath the tracks with two copper uh, foils with two copper plates there bringing positive and negative to uh, one uh, track there and the other track here and you simply have to pitch uh, or to put inside those two holes there I hope you can see them the uh, wires the positive and negative wires and simply release uh, the uh, spring there and uh, uh, two wires will be inserted and connected to the uh, rails to the tracks copper here some um, um, iron base there so uh, it will bring uh, um, power to the system but I prefer to go this way right here I prefer to uh, solder directly to the tracks the two wires as I did here uh, I prefer to use it, this because uh, this is less visible than this piece here if you want to see every um, all the tracks around it is easiest to, to hide this kind of solution you just simply need to make a hole on the styrofoam as i did many many times and hide the wires uh, below the main surface this is uh, less invasive this is more uh, visible from every angle 
uh, and that, that is the track simply way of connecting the tracks uh, you will have here some sort of uh, shoes little shoes they are called little shoes at least in europe uh, and this is uh, a translation literally a translation that will allow you to connect uh, each uh, section of the uh, tracks with the other one right there it, they are connected and i'm using it in this case one air one curved section here and one air two curved section there and it doesn't uh, matter you can do whatever you want but it is uh, suitable if you go always with r1 uh, curved section or r2 curved section here i connected uh, two uh, different uh, type and uh, here it is always also suited to connect some straight okay in this way i will go this way it is uh, also suited for connecting right there some straight uh, section to a curved section or so. why i have uh, two shoes the here simply because i certainly use uh, these uh, with uh, connected to uh, uh, bending uh, uh, section of tracks and bending section of tracks as have absolutely no shoes on them so you will need to remove one of them right there you need to remove one of them right there and uh, you need to use uh, both uh, uh, shoes here in order to connect the other uh, section of tracks uh, i've done this in all my uh, tutorials when i was building my uh, christmas village uh, some months ago the powering system let's go to this way the power system is nothing less than an ac adapter in this case it is a 12 volt 0.45 amps uh, ac adapter and it converts obviously in my case uh, 220 volts into 12 volts in your case it may vary how to control the train this time i can control the train from stop to start and from rolling to stop i simply need to go this way and the train will start moving this is half speed because i am here i've started here this is half speed and the train is rolling without a problem on the tracks and <laughs> let me just point out that when the tracks are, are, are absolutely flat the train will absolutely have no problems at all rolling on them not like i've explained some months ago about what has happened with my uh, christmas village this year and you can also see that uh, the cars in this case the passenger cars are lighted inside and you also have a light there on front of the uh, locomotive of the steam locomotive and it can also speed it is very silent right now it can also speed i can just go to the max and this is going to the max okay obviously i can also stop the train like that and if i'm going the opposite side the train will go backwards okay you can see that the train is going backwards without problems it's not derailing even at max speed because it is connected the right way so let me just bring it in front of the other locomotive right now and let me just stop it right there so you have seen that it can be very useful this train this train is from Bachmann, an American brand, but Bachmann's trains can also be found everywhere in Europe or Australia also. Why I've chosen this uh, scale, these gouges here? Just compare the dimension of the uh, locomotive to the other locomotive and just compare the scale of the locomotive to the uh, to the train station perfectly done the building is uh, you is uh, bigger than the locomotive normally it is so 
obviously <coughs> the scale of the figurines is bigger for the uh, train but uh, the train and the buildings as have the same scale also for uh, everything else and i will try to explain to you everything the advantage of the backman the backman are originally uh, from usa and usa uh, almost use ho or zero gouge uh, ho or zero gouge for us is 148 148 148 uh, 48 times shorter than the original it is the original dimension divided by 48 and in us o scale is o or zero scale is 1 to 48 in europe can be 1 to 43 or 43.5 and the same on japan and yes there are different ways but what is important is that with on 30 scale a train having a scale of 1 to 48 the same scale that have christmas buildings from lemax those kind of trains having this uh, um, scale can roll on ho train tracks ho train tracks as you can uh, see there let me just bring them together ho there sorry let me just adjust the camera for a moment ho is 1 to 87 that means that uh, the tracks that I have here are 87 times smaller than in reality. And those trains with a scale of 1 to 48, 48 times uh, shorter, smaller than reality, can roll on this kind of tracks. This kind of tracks have a uh have a pitch there of 1.6.5 yes it is 16.5 millimeters the distance between the true rails and it is exactly the distance you have between here those the wheels there 16.5 here from this point here to this point here 16.5 millimeters because originally the uh, O scale is suited to roll on uh, tracks having a distance between the two rails of 30 millimeters almost the double the great invention of Bachmann with O and 30 scale is allowing the 1 to 48 scale to roll on HO tracks and this is absolutely well suited for uh, um, Lemax uh, buildings or uh, department 56 buildings you need to use this solution let me just explain uh, in some more details with some more about uh, scaling i think that i've uh, uh, talked uh, uh, everything i told up everything about the tracks uh, i've introduced everything about the tracks so uh, let me just uh, bring to the scene another paper here gondolas or freight uh, tracks what is a gondola gondola is right there this is a gondola this is sorry this is half a gondola so from uh, the same year gondolas were there gondolas were 30 to 32 feet long or 9 to 10 meters long let me just start with uh, uh, the gondola 
the gondola itself. This is a train. Ah, yes, sorry. Let's jump back. Why HO scale? HO scale is the most common scale in um, train scale modeling, at least all around Europe, but also in US. Those kind of trucks are the most common everywhere. And that's why they suited the, the train, the 1 to 48 uh, scale model trains to roll on top of these uh, trucks there to this scale to 187 in scale. So this said, let me just have this uh, uh, gondola, this full gondola here. This full gondola here should be between 30 to 30 feet or 9 to 10 meters. Let me just bring to the scene a calculator there and let me just measure this one. This one is 14.5 centimeters. So 14.5 centimeters divided by 100 to get in in meters. This is the result. Multiplied by 87, this is the scale, multiplied by 87 equals 12.61 uh, meters it is uh, from the same scale uh, just have in mind that uh, uh, a brand that builds this kind of models as uh, uh, may, may vary a little bit from the original uh, measurements but it is well suited it is uh, correctly uh, dimensioned for an ho scale and this is a full gondola so a full gondola and you have here the full gondola with uh, metal wheels also there and the wheels can rotate everywhere and you can have it rolling on sorry i will go a little down for a moment because i need to be at the same level of the tracks to have it correctly done there yeah there and the gondola can roll on the HO tracks, obviously, as the train set is doing. Okay, so this is half a, a full gondola to 187. This is a Bachmann ON30 uh, half a gondola suited for this train set here, well suited for a Lemax uh, scale. So ON30 is 148, this is half a gondola, so this is 11.5 uh, uh, centimeters. Let's go, oops, let's go this way and so let's, uh, sorry, 11, 11, 0.5 divided by 100 multiplied by 48 equals 5.52 meters alpha gondola half this size 5.52 it is uh, multiplied by 2 it is 11 meters so alpha gondola it is half this uh, full gondola but the dimension obviously is not two of the s won't make one of these because there is a difference in scale 0 0.6 uh, 60% uh, smaller scale for this in comparison to this so two of these would have been one of these and this one too has the same dimension for the wheels there 16.5 millimeters from of distance between those two points the same wheels and the same system the same rotating system by the way originally this half gondola has the same color of this one it is possible to paint them and to modify them to whatever you need i painted them and I applied some uh, decals and added everything else. This one too, the bumblebee locomotive and the tender were plain 
uh, yellow and also the Ranver and Rio Grande um, passenger coaches were completely black with uh, uh, the roof plain silver and I painted them in order to be similar to um, Bachmann uh, Norma Rockwell train set because it was I can't find it anywhere on the market and most of all the, the, the Norman Rockwell and Norman Rockwell was a well-known artist from the 50s and the 60s and Norman Rockwell train set it is around 400 US dollars so it's not the cheap the cheapest train set so I prefer to go with standard locomotives and train cars and paint them to what I need I have more of them you haven't seen all of them simply because during the last two uh, years I've made some climbing uh, train tracks and uh, with climbing tracks I can't have my full train set displayed because it has difficulties to climb the <laughs> for next season I will have my full train set displayed so 148 this should be half let me just compare the dimension of the gondola there this gondola if I place it right here you can imagine that uh, the, go the full gondola it, it is very 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 small compared to the building of course you can go with HO scale this scale here that is one of the most common uh, scale on the market and this is uh, Nor Hornby uh, gondola and the brand is Hornby and it is one of the most common brand in Europe and every uh, Christmas village store has always uh, Hornby's train set uh, on their catalog so maybe you have seen them also when I shoot the uh, video concerning uh, mm, the uh, around it was around Oct last October when I went to the uh, Christmas uh, village shop and uh, you have probably seen some Hornby, Hornby train sets uh, filmed in the video anyway it is too small obviously compared this is well suited half the dimension so five meters five meters yes five meters in reality there ten meters if this gondola was uh, longer and higher it will be suited for uh, the uh, train station but this is too small obviously this is too small passenger cars Passenger cars, let me just bring you another passenger cars. Um, passenger cars, this one, Denver and Rio Grande. These uh, passenger cars, and maybe I will put some original design from 1800, uh, around the end of 1800, on here right now or somewhere else. These um, passenger car here, was 44 feet long or 15 meters long okay 15 meters so this is a little longer than the uh, than the uh, gondola 5 meters longer uh, 15 meters is three times this one three times this one one two almost three times okay this is almost correct one uh, one two and something else okay it is between uh, 15 meters this is not five precisely five meters it is 5.5 meters so uh, a little range can be accepted okay 44 uh, feet this one this is a passenger coach from the 60s from 1950s uh, up to 1960s in uh, Britain this is from Britain British uh, Railways sorry I haven't on my hand right now the same era wagons or coaches from for OO uh, scale these should be one 
76, 1 to 76 in dimension. So this uh, should be 19 meters, 63 feet or 19 meters. So the longest about all of them. And I can assure you that uh, uh, that uh, the scale is well done. Okay, so let's go there. 25.5 centimeters 25.5 divided by 100 multiplied by 76 equals 19.38 meters almost something more than uh, 63 feet so the scale is correctly uh, done and this should be 19 meters so uh, a little longer than this one a little longer than this one but it is too shorter too 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 small in comparison this is the uh, not the smallest uh, scale because the smallest scale is this one but if this one uh, is 10 meters then this means that uh, uh, two of these will make one of these two of these two of these okay is not the same thing will not make because there is a difference in scale two of these is longer than one passenger co coach from British Railways there is also here a difference a 10% almost a 10% difference in scale that's why scaling is important why I bring to the scene this kind of uh, coaches in this kind of wagons because Obviously, even OO scale will roll on on uh, uh, the same uh, rails you have here. Let me just redo something I hate to do when I'm on camera, but I need to do it. Okay, let me just see if I can be precise there. Sorry if it is taking too long okay done so here i have the co the, tr the passenger coach here it can roll on the same kind of track but let me just show you i'm going this way and it has difficulties going through the uh, curved section why simply because the distance between the wheels is longer than the distance between a full gondola here and those kinds of um, of uh, coaches of uh, cars will cause problems if you don't use her two types of uh, of uh, curved section you need to use this kind of uh, curved section with a wider uh, radius in order to let them uh, go smoothly on some on the tracks you can see that <laughs> it is way over the tracks if you use a such narrow such narrow uh, curved section you can have problems because it is too long for rolling on some uh, sh short uh, curved section so you need to use at least minimum this r2 you can go over r2 but you need to use r2 sorry r r sorry in fact these r2 and those are r1 not not r sorry and the distance in this case you have the wheels completely plastic it means that uh, uh, this passenger uh, car this passenger coach has no lights inside because uh, without uh, some way of uh, having uh, uh, electricity connected to the uh, coach you can't bring electricity so you can't light anything inside the coach those um, those coaches here have, in have a light inside and can be lighted okay so this is why uh, HO tracks can be used widely around and this one is long yes but it is too short you can see that it is too short not well suited for the the even those uh, uh, shorter um, figurines here are 
higher than the uh, coach, the, 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 than the um, passenger coach itself. So this is another thing you have to get in mind. Obviously, train gauges go over 148 and over 176. You have a uh, train uh, scale up and down to uh, 1 to 100 and up to 1 to 8, but <laughs> they are huge. The, the, those are not the, um, the only um, scales you have or the only gauges you have for train scale uh, models uh, this is huge but this is at least what you need to know minimum what you need to know in order to choose correctly the train for your Christmas village the coupling system also is very important so with those kind of uh, tracks obviously if you buy a train set like the normal rockwell train set you will have a limited amount of tracks but ho tracks can be both everywhere around the physical shops uh, marketplaces everyone has uh, some ho tracks ho tracks can vary in this case we have uh, just two rails here uh, here but some uh, brands bring to the scene tracks having three rails uh, left right and one inside from br for bringing electricity for bringing power to the locomotive and uh, uh, and the coaches if they are lighted it all depends on the brands uh, in europe you will mostly found this kind of uh, tracks with simply two rails in us uh, you will find uh, many many different types um, and you will also find uh, three rail tracks uh, similar to the tracks used uh, by subways that have two rails for rolling the the wheels and one rail uh, in between them to bring the power to the uh, subway itself but in reality you simply have two rails so this is a must uh, real than three rail tracks for track for trains uh, from the same era of course and you know that I'm obsessed with uh, reality so I prefer to go with this kind of uh, tracks obviously you also have some uh, system to uh, add some ballast to them i usually have uh, um, all my ballast uh, um, sparsed by hand and you have seen me uh, using the ballast what is the ballast yes the ballast is the little rocks that you find uh, in reality uh, under the uh, the tracks themselves under this kind of tracks the little rocks that you find it is called a uh, ballast and i don't uh, like to have the tracks simply like that i always add some ballast to the tracks and you have some an example here some uh, left ballast here in between the tracks i haven't uh, washed correctly this one because <coughs> this one is always the track that uh, has the power connected to them uh, but uh, every time i dismantle my christmas village i always washed the ballast because i use ballast uh, under the um, the tracks or more precisely once the tracks have been placed i use a system to ballast the tracks then i use some mixture of water and uh, vinylic glue to get them properly together and once the season is is finished i dismantle my christmas village and i wash out the mixture of uh, water and uh, vinylic glue simply and easily uh, done just remind that this kind of uh, mm, tracks here that are uh, iron based that tend to uh, oxidate tend to have uh, some oxi oxide in, uh, uh, on the tracks so from time to time during the season you need to uh, to um, 
remove the oxidation or have constantly the train rolling on top of them and when the, the season is finished you have to put uh, the trucks inside a box where they are um, where you don't risk to have oxidation from the uh, air um, damaging the uh, tracks there you simply need uh, some piece of wood to remove the oxidation from the tracks if you need them to be um, cleaned i was talking about coupling coupling system Bachmann coupling system you can see that it is a hook and a horizontal hook and a spring there in order to have it uh, removed but every every brand has its proper uh, coupling system let's observe this other coupling system you have this way to connecting uh, them together yes each each track uh, each uh, coach can be uh, connected together can be coupled together by uh, pushing these up and then placing the ring in between then removing that and this kind of uh, coupling here is not suited for climbing hills and mountains and it is one uh, and maybe the only negative aspect of using uh, Bachmann ON30 uh, train scales models. They are only suited for going straight on a plane on a mm, flat surface. These uh, kind of coupling otherwise are well suited for climbing and the trains can also climb. You can't have them detached just uh, uh, imagine this kind of uh, coupling here when a train is climbing and the other has, has not yet started climbing it will slide like that and the uh, coach behind will tend to be detached and will slide uh, the opposite way uh, with this kind of coupling of course you don't risk anything and they can also uh, be used for climbing hills but these other brands here has another way of coupling everything you can see that it has another way of coupling if this has a ring some sort of ring getting up there this one has the hook getting up there okay to, to hook them together so maybe this is not the perfect solution for climbing this is the perfect solution for climbing hills with the, the the mm, the wagons with the train set this is another so these will be difficult to couple together so each brand should be used with the same brand you can mix uh, different brands obviously if you if you find brands from the same scale having the same coupling system you can mix them together not in this uh, case okay and uh, I think I'm almost done. Yes, I've talked about everything. And this is not the perfect uh, tutorial, but uh, you can uh, have a correct idea on why to use some solution instead of the others. Expanding. This solution can be expanded. Yes, uh, you can expand it always. Uh, you will not uh, have any problems to find more tracks to find different type of tracks or to find more uh, type of uh, of coaches of wagons of cars the important thing is you simply have the locomotive that is very important without the locomotive you can have a train set and then you can add some more coaches and maybe you can start with a locomotive and a coach and a, and a car the next year you can add some other uh, coach some other passengers some other freight trucks no freight uh, car freight coaches sorry and so on if you roll them on flat surface a locomotive can uh, have the ability to um, to pull even five to six to seven um, coaches and so on so no problems at all if you maintain the track flat last difference last difference is between analogic and digital train set this one is an analogic train set 
what does this means this means that you can only control the speed with the voltage regulator and once the voltage is regulated the train will go uh, the same speed on the track but if the track is climbing the train obviously will go slower with the same input because this is a uh, physical uh, problem because the gravity tend to push you backwards so when it's time to climb a hill and mountain the uh, speed will slow e will slow down even if you maintain the same uh, voltage on the regulator but if you have a digital train set then there, are, there are plenty of digital train sets but obviously uh, they are more expensive you will have the train that uh, will have always the same speed uh, no matter uh, if the uh, tracks are flat or climbing a digital train set you simply need to um, set the speed you want and it will maintain the same speed at any cost it is uh, digital uh, the, the speed is digitally corrected by the system itself okay so but the the, the principle between uh, analogic and digital train set uh, is the same uh, an AC adapter and uh, a voltage regulator but they also have um, a little uh, digital interface inside that will regulate everything the race itself and some uh, digital train sets have as have also the ability of uh, puffing up some uh, smoke or some steam and have also uh, sounds i prefer to go uh, analogic and I prefer to go with no, no steam, no smoke, no sounds at all because uh, all, sometimes uh, sounds are disturbing and these kind of train sets <laughs> will never have problems of uh, power as they are always connected to an AC adapter so I made uh, the tour of everything and I've talked about gouges and uh, scales and i think that for this tutorial that is just a tutorial for um, bringing you the ability of choosing by yourself the solution you judge uh, correct for your christmas village i will hand here I will thanks once again Farida for suggesting this tutorial I hope I been able to clarify some of your doubts but in any time at any time you can always ask some more question or ask me anything if you want to um, to know some more things about um, train scale modeling or uh, train scale uh, gouges or anything I forgot to mention here uh, that will be helpful of course uh, you have plenty of uh, uh, sources to uh, find the trains you want to add to your set you to, to your uh, layout so I end it this video and i see you for the outro thanks as always train scale modelers are surely furious with me right now because i was too superficial but i can't always be awfully long and annoying with all my videos if i forgot something important to anyone or if you want to have some further information simply ask and I will be glad to make a part two. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.